guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how to make some fabulously delicious but super simple salmon burgers. These can be called salmon patties, salmon cakes, I don't really care. I call them salmon burgers because they are fantastic in a nice, lovely, soft bun or just as delicious on a plate with a side salad with a little yogurt dill sauce, which is what, how I'm going to serve them today. So really, either way, and you can also make these on the grill or on a skillet. So that's why I'm calling them salmon burgers. <laughs> the list of ingredients for the actual burger themselves are super easy and super simple. You need some salmon, which we'll talk about in just a minute. What I have here are some chives. I've got parsley, lemon, panko breadcrumbs, an egg, a little mayo, and some salt and pepper. And that is it. For my salmon, what you'll need, what I need in this recipe, is a pound of a salmon filet. What I did is I had the fishmonger take off the skin because you don't need the skin for this recipe. And then all I did was just cut it into large chunks. And that's it. You're looking for about a pound. So order just a little over a pound because by the time they take off the skin, it'll be right about at a pound. How many more times can I say a pound? Okay, let's get started. I'm going to make my burger mixture in my food processor. I'm going to add my salmon chunks. I just cut them up to make life a little bit easier. I'm going to add my chives and my parsley. Now I'm keeping the burgers, the salmon burgers anyway, not too strongly flavored because when you get your hands on really beautiful salmon, you don't want to do a whole lot to it, otherwise you lose the flavor of the salmon. But if you want to go like a Tex-Mex route, you could add jalapenos to this, some cilantro, a little bit of chili, uh, which I might show you in a different recipe altogether. So you need a little lemon zest, and at this point this is all you need. I'm just going to put the lid on, and I'm just going to process this until it's all really well chopped. All right, this looks fantastic. You can see it's pretty well chopped, and that's what you're looking for. You almost want it to be like a paste, but there's still it's a, still a bit chunky. You don't want it to be totally smooth. Now to this, I'm going to add just a squeeze of lemon, not much, a good pinch. Whoa, good pinch of salt, pepper. You need your breadcrumbs. I like using panko because they're really nice and light, and they don't compact the burgers too much an egg, and just a little bit of mayo. Just a couple tablespoons, not much. Okay, now all I'm going to do is just give this a really good mix, and then I'm gonna cover this with some plastic wrap, and I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for about a half an hour. So I want the mixture to really come together, and once it sits for a while, it hardens a bit, which makes it easier to fry or grill or whatever you're doing with them. So. That's what I'm going to go do, and then we'll cook them up and we'll serve. My salmon mixture was in the fridge for about half an hour or so. Now I want to show you what I have here. I just have some mixed greens because I'm just going to serve it with some mixed greens and olive oil and lemon juice. And then this, which I absolutely love, it's just plain Greek yogurt, a mixture of dill, chives, and parsley. To it, I'm going to add, don't want the pip, a squeeze of lemon, it makes it really nice and bright. I love this sauce. Works perfectly alongside the salmon as is, a pinch of salt, as is, or if really is fantastic, it's a sauce on a soft bun on a grilled salmon burger. It's just, it's phenomenal. So whichever way you want to serve these, this sauce, to me anyway, is a must have. So give it a stir, lovely, and set that aside. Okay, so let's talk salmon burgers. I'm going to cook mine in just a standard skillet, which is a drizzle of olive oil in there. You can make these in a nonstick uh, skillet without any olive oil if you don't want to. It gives them a nice little crust, so that's what I do. You can make them on a grill pan. You can make them on the outdoor grill. I will say, if you make them on the outdoor grill, you want to make sure your, uh, your grill is really hot. And lay down a piece of aluminum foil because it keeps the burgers from sticking to the grates of the grill. So, learn that from me. I made that mistake. Okay, these look fantastic. All I'm going to do is score this into four because I do want to make four burgers out of this. You can make six smaller ones if you want to, you know. The option is yours. Whatever you want to do, boo-boo. It's your kitchen. And then you just form it into burger patties. You first form it into like a meatball. 
and then you just press it, just like that. You can still see the chunks of salmon in here, see that, which is beautiful. And now I'm just going to pop these into my hot skillet and cook them for a few minutes on each side or until fully cooked. All right, these are perfectly cooked. They took about three to three and a half minutes or so on both sides to cook fully. Now, I do want to mention that I have a recipe incredibly similar to these from a few years ago, my salmon cakes. But the reason why I want to share this recipe with you is because with my salmon cakes, although very similar in taste, um, because we, we used cooked salmon in that recipe, it made them way too fragile to be able to cook on the grill. But with these, because we, we went ahead and used uh, fresh salmon, uncooked salmon, it makes them absolutely perfect for the outdoor grill because they hold so, so well. And that's why I wanted to share this recipe with you, but you can do whatever you want. Add whatever you want in it, it will be fantastic. Just the principle is raw salmon, egg, breadcrumb, you know, the deal. Okay, so I've got my greens, a little drizzle of lemon, and then I just must, I mean this, you know salmon and dill are like best friends, right? I mean they just go together so, so well, and that's why I love the combination of it. And by using yogurt instead of sour cream, we're cutting down on a lot of that fat, but look, the salmon is still chunky, I can still see it, it's not all breadcrumbs, but everything holds together so well, they're fantastic, but these are hot. Mmm, mmm, I mean really, really outstanding, they'll be delicious tomorrow if you have leftovers in the fridge, cold, whether in a sandwich, on a salad, on some quinoa, whatever your heart desires. There is no way people won't love this recipe. Go to Laura in the kitchen.com to get the written version. I hope you enjoy spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Hey, let me know if you make them this weekend and let me know how much you enjoy them. Bye.